Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video here, you are going to find out how to fix the Windows 10 Store. Now many of you after installing Windows 10 have been experiencing some issues with the store where you go to download your apps. For some of you, the Windows 10 Store is not opening at all and for some it's just not downloading apps for some reason. Well, in this video, you are going to find out how to fix these issues. And the good news is, there are many ways that you can fix these kinds of problems. Now let's go with the first method. The first method involves restoring the function of the Windows 10 Store. And you can do that by entering this command right here, this long command, into the command prompt. And by the way, this command, you don't have to memorize it because it's included in the video description. So if you go to the description of this video, you can copy and paste this command into the command prompt. So here's a command, okay? And then you're going to paste it into the command prompt. So to find the command prompt, the command line, you're going to go right here to the bottom left corner of the screen. Then you're going to click the start button, and then you're going to type command prompt, and then you're going to right click the command prompt, and then you're going to click on where it says run as administrator click where it says run as administrator very important okay so now here's the command prompt and now I'm going to let me make sure I have it completely copied copy my code and now I'm going to paste it and here it is and then press enter okay and so after doing that this should uh, restore the Windows 10 store This should restore as you can see it's processing and it's trying to fix it for me and after doing that this should restore the Windows 10 store now what if that doesn't work for you well here's another method the second method is by using the the, the troubleshooter for Windows apps so Microsoft designed a specific troubleshooter for this for the Windows 10 store for the apps so so here's the link for it this one you have to download it it's a troubleshooter so it's a it's a little tool Microsoft has made and you can download that and that might fix your problems and so here's a link for it and this link also is included in the video description so you can copy it from there and then open your web browser like Google Chrome Internet Explorer Firefox and then paste it into your web browser to the come into the, into the address bar and then here you go press enter and I'm into the site so as you can see this one says run the troubleshooter for Windows apps so I can click right here on this link and it should download it and here it is I already downloaded it and here it is right here okay and so if I if I run this And so if I run this right here, and so if I run this troubleshooter right here, double click it, if I run it, it should it should prevent the problems in the Windows in the Windows Store apps right here. So it clicks next. As you can see, it's going to detect problems. My Windows Store apps uh, have no problems, that's why it says troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem that's because I don't have any problems with my Windows Store apps but if yours do have problems it will likely identify it and it will try to fix these problems for you okay so now what if you are out of luck and these two methods so far have not worked for you don't worry about that there's a second there's a third thing you can do there is another troubleshooter that Microsoft has included uh, this one is designed specifically for the settings and uh, Windows Store app because sometimes some Windows uh, users have noticed that when they click on settings right here when they click on settings right here it opens the Windows 10 store or when they click on the Windows 10 store it opens the settings so sometimes there may be issues there and and so this one you can get from that link right here this troubleshooter which also is included in the video description so you can copy that from there and then same process again paste it into your web browser and then this will take you 
and then, then this will take you to that troubleshooter as you can see it says settings doesn't launch or launches the store instead so that troubleshooter may fix your problem and then you're gonna click on this link right here it's, as you can see we are aware of this issue so click on this link right here and this will download the troubleshooter for that problem so save and here it is and so this should fix any of these issues so click next okay click next again as you can see from my case too it says troubleshooting could not identify the problem that's because I don't have this issue anymore but I, but I used to have it okay alright so now what if you are truly out of luck and none of these three methods worked okay so now what you have to do is, is a system restore is use a system restore tool basically here's how the system restore tool works it restores your computer back to an earlier date so now what you have to ask yourself is when did this problem begin did it begin today yesterday or last week so say for example this problem began today what you want to do you want to use the system restore tool to, re to return back to for example last week before this problem started so now to run the system restore tool, go right here to the bottom left corner of the screen and click the start button right here. And then you're going to type system restore. Um, actually no, you're going to go to the bottom left corner of the screen and then right click this time. Right click, that's the best way to find it. You're going to right click and then you're going to click where it says run right here, right there. Alright, and so right here in this text field, I'm going to type this, type rstrui.exe, right here, rstrui.exe, and this too, if you can't memorize it, it's included in the video description, and so you're going to click OK. Alright, and so this is the system store utility, okay, alright, so as you can see, uh, it plays uh, it displays various dates right here okay it displays various dates and so I want to restore to a date before the problem started uh, if I click so I select a date right here click next and there Windows will ask me to confirm my restore point and then click finish okay so this should we fix your problem if 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 you did not have this problem before this should fix it so now what if even the system store does not work these four methods so far have not worked for you well don't lose hope there's still one last thing you can do which should definitely fix your issue almost definitely almost definitely this will fix your issue what you can do if this persists no matter what you do is a factory reset well, what exactly is a factory reset? Well, what the factory reset does is that it restores your computer back to the way it was when you first purchased it, when you first bought it. So basically, this will make your computer one like new, no issues at all. So you can do a factory reset. So to do a factory reset, you're gonna go right here to the bottom left corner of the screen, and then you're just going to type, just type reset, and then click on where it says reset this PC so type reset and then click where it says reset this pc or you can click the start button and then click where it says settings okay and then click on update and security and then click on recovery and then click on where it says reset this pc and then click on get started Alright, so once you click on get started, you will see two options. The first option says keep my files and the second option says remove everything. Keep my files, the first option, it's it's very secure. Now uh, keep my files, what it does for example, it remove it keeps your files but it removes the programs. So say for example So say for example you have Microsoft Word. What this will do, this will remove Microsoft Word but it will keep your files but now if you choose the second option this will remove everything but of course Windows 10 will stay and you can be the one like brand new so just keep that in mind
okay so if none of these methods work use the factory reset so so far in this video you find you found out five different ways to fix the windows 10 store problems so if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and thanks for watching subscribe for more